getting our S1 built van ready. Doing that work, taking everything out, new seats, new everything. Check this out. Good look at my name. Mai, what are you doing? Damn, Yup, look at that, she always, always eating. Uh, no, I just came back from the Asian market and I bought healthy foods. See you guys, this is the kind of stuff that us Asians eat. Cilantro, <laughs> baby bok choy, uh, all the greens. I can't even get this one out. This one is like an Asian. What's that? If I can get it out, it's kind of slippery. <laughs> okay, so this is what, guys. <laughs> some stuff off kick off the brakes brake cable so far and we're just taking you know taking everything out let's see what boats up we're gonna take the gas tank out of course jay's on it yeah okay great news for fourth gen prelude guys so we just figured something out that was pretty uh, pretty interesting exciting exciting very exciting for <laughs> us and for the fourth gen community also. So the fourth and fifth gen all-wheel drive kit will be the exact same kit. We thought it was based off like the, uh, the CB7, but it's not. It's not. Yeah, so this is the uh, subframe for the uh, fifth gen. This is, yeah, the subframe for the fifth gen. As you can see, it's the same thing for the... Yeah, let me see, hold it. Exact same thing. <laughs> Exactly. Same mounting point and everything. Because we're not we don't use these. So that's what they're doing right now. They're taking everything off. Once this thing comes off, then we're gonna go ahead and put the fifth this is a fifth gen play new kit. And then we're gonna put this kit up. Take all this out. That's a mounting point and we'll put this up put and up then so. that's what we're working with. with. Mm -hmm. Kit's yeah, going up one. right now. Just bolt it up. Far. It was? Here's proof, guys, that the fourth gen is the exact same as the fifth gen. That's it right there. Fourth gen, fifth gen. Also, you guys mark it. Good job. I'm bolting up the first piece that goes to the trailing arm. Perfect fit. Fifth gen, fourth gen. Same thing. Subscribe. <laughs> Not yet. The video ain't even done yet, bro. Like, what you doing? <laughs> oh, well, you can save it for later. <laughs> Minute forks going on. Can we hold up here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. coming together. Things come together. That's like right. a glove. Things come together. Yo, check out this clean, clean. Look at this thing, man. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Yo, what year? What year is it? Uh, 02. 02? 02R6. Yeah, man. This one's all-wheel drive too, or? Nah, nah. You gonna make it, you gonna, gonna make it all drive? Too expensive. <laughs> man, it looks pretty nice, man. Thank you, I bro. might be picking up one just to age swap it. I don't know. Uh, Probably not, huh? No, I think but not. It's clean, man. Yeah. Well, how can they find the car? Oh, it's on Instagram. Instagram? It's uh, DC Vibrations, though. DC Vibrations. Okay, cool. Come back, Yeah, come back, man. Interesting. Sweet. I love yellow RSXs. I'm going to pay my yellow too. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Ah, peace. Hi. So guys, we were playing a little bit with the e-brake that we haven't gotten to yet. So we started playing with it a little bit now. And 
what we did was, as you know from the beginning, we were saying that we're using the left caliper on the right and the right caliper on the left. So you have to swap the calipers. So when I swapped the calipers, this bracket that hold the e-brake didn't work. So I actually, this might sound a little confusing, but right caliper on the left, left caliper on the right. E-brake bracket stays on the same side. So right side e-brake bracket is on the right side, but except it's the right side e-brake bracket on the left side caliper. Yeah. Yeah, right. I know it sounds a little confusing, but just watch that over and over again. <laughs> You'll understand. <laughs> um, we, you know, we're going to modify it a little bit and make our own because the angles aren't perfect. It works, but the angles aren't really where we'd like them to be. So we got to twist this a little bit, a tiny bit. So we just have to come out with our little bit of a modified e-brake um, bracket and just twist this a tiny bit. But it all works here. Like you see, I have it bolted. I have this factory piece bolted up here and then I route it like we route all of our other all-wheel drive kits we put them up here that's how we route a lot of the other ones but um, like I said everything would work fine as it is it's just not kind of how we like it it's not the prettiest looking yeah, but it works but it'll, it'll work, work good yep perfect all right you want to see full camber okay you ready yes are you sure you're ready oh damn yeah that's full that's full, full camber, maxed out on the kit. Oh, so they can go all-wheel drive, stance out, then raise it back up and drive home. DC5 Creations is back. Look at this. So this is not this all-wheel drive car, but this all-wheel drive car is a blue one. I'll put a link right up to the top. This is just kind of daily, you know what I mean? Nice. Nice yellow. Look at the engine bay. Jeez. 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 And the crowd goes wild. Is this the one you all right. the blue one. So you came in, he he broke his um drive shaft, all drive drive shaft. He had stock tubes and um by one of the U joints he broke and dropped it off. And we upgraded him to three inch tube. Three inch tube. I thought I blew my motor. I blew my motor so many times. So That's where you broke up. Now it's upgraded. Three inch tube, everything. And I was like, I think I blew Check my motor. I was like, 15. I kept revving it, and it wasn't the motor that day. So, <laughs> yep, so now you're upgraded, yeah, man. You came and working now? Yeah, working now, working. <laughs> I recorded the whole thing, dude. Hey, yeah, then I, was, I didn't even check for the red light. <laughs> oh, okay, you, got, you got to go back and do the. Yeah, I just did. The whole inside for the for the yellow one. Yeah. I didn't see it being normal. All right, I'm going to go test it out, let you know. Yeah, man. So they fixed the bolt right here. My bolt was stripped. I think they, yeah. I think that was, yeah, it was stripped. They fixed that? Um, I guess. They had to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mine was yeah. stripped, man. It was. Yeah, we had to put a new, those are like new watch. Yeah, stuff. they had to, because I, 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 mine was holding on by it. A miracle. Yeah, <laughs> just make sure that you, um, when you install it, put the yeah. markers on each one of those. Just to oh, sure. thank you. Give me, give me one of them, you know, when you put it on. Well, these when you put it on, everything. Yeah, I'm gonna go so. test it next week. So everything's yeah. balanced, exact. Yeah. Bro, and every time I drove over, yeah. around like 60, under, if I stay under 60, it was fine. Over 60, yeah. like the whole car, yeah, it was bad. And you could feel it on the middle of the car too. Yeah, you had to change out the bearing too. That's what, it was, what she told me. Yeah, it was, I mean, I knew one of them was really bad. When I got it, I was like, wow, this is like moving. I felt, I'm telling you, it was just like, I drove over 60 miles and the car felt like crap. Yeah. Under 60, it felt smooth, yeah. but yeah, no. I'm glad. Let me load her up. Oh, it's gonna be fun playing underneath the car by myself. Okay, here it is, guys. The fourth gen Prelude. It's all done. Everything's all mounted up. The only thing that we didn't do is the front. Since it's a case swap already, all they need to do is swap out the transmission and then the dry shaft, and that's pretty much it. But everything else with the kit, our kit, what comes in, everything's here. Everything's all bolted up. Even the um, Calipers. Calipers, so, everything is up guys, so yeah. check it out. A bennet forks, lower control arm, diff mount, the trailing arms. Two long axles. Two long axles, CRV, rear. Mm -hmm. So that's it, that's a wrap. Fort Gen's done. Done. So there you have it guys. If you guys want more intel, like more details and everything, check out the fifth gen video. Same exact setup as this, and it's a longer video. You know, we did a fifth gen before, so this is a fourth gen, so 
it went by pretty quick but if you're gonna want more in, in tail details check the fifth gen video and that's it on behalf of the s1 bill family i would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you guys for such an amazing year 2021 has been such a blessing to us and we couldn't have done it first off without our staff and second off without the supporters out there so we appreciate every single one of you um we can't wait to see what 2022 has in store for us we want to wish everybody a happy new year thank you guys Slow. Say you in something we can't afford, but we got that cam to cord. That's this one, all wheel drive, got them behind us coming through. Real quick, it's all four wheel drive.